Hi, it's Rosie again from Rose by Name Co. I've come here again to show you my latest journal called Lavender Dreams. It is sold and I will be packing it up shortly, but I wanted to show you what it's all about. Um, it is a first um, junk journal or mini junk journal in the uh, dream series. I, there are six um, coming up in the various sizes. I believe that the smallest one will be two and a half inches by two and a half inches. And um, this one here is uh, again a three by five inches and it is uh, three signatures uh, with about 120 pages uh, front and back. So it is um, quite thick. As you can see here, um, lots of pages, um, lots of charms and laces it has as a usual. Tassel. That is uh, some ribbon and uh, some beads and on a chain and a little key on the bottom. I did uh, keep it light again, I guess, just because of the size. I didn't want to overwhelm with um, too much on the tassel. Um, this one is um, just regular uh, hardware with the title and this um, a picture here of the lavender I did print on fabric so I uh, sewed around it and put it on the cover and inside I have a little journaling card with of course uh, with lots of lavender and uh, purple paper here as well and this is a little bit from the cover here and it's a little notebook with a few different papers um, to write in and over here we have a charm a butterfly charm and uh, another little journaling card I do have um, coffee stained paper and as well uh, cabbage leaves um, that this one happens to be gave this beautiful blue that is um, just perfect for this as well and and this shiny paper here, it's just uh, very pretty and and just the shade of this uh, color just goes great in this journal. So I, each, uh, uh, many pages um, have uh, ribbons and lace and so on and some fabric sewn onto the edges. And so in the next um, pages here, we do have um, Lavender Dreams, just a little bit about the title. And uh, here as well, I have a definition of lavender and uh, not definition, I'm sorry, a pronunciation of lavender and um, printed um, a little bit of uh, my own digit kit, which I always say I don't have one. But anyways, I guess I do have a, a sort of a little digit kit that I use sometimes and uh, print up um, uh, just for anything that happens to be pink or purple. So here. I have another journaling card. I did do some um, decoupage here from a napkin of uh, lavender onto an index card. And in the back here, some coffee dyed paper and uh, a little bit of space to write on. And um, here we have some paper um, that I sprayed. And also I did uh, find this uh, beautiful stencil in Croatia I was just there and um, so of lavender it happened to be a lavender and um, so I just stamp it up over here and here I have um, a little bit of uh, just a fold out to write on and this one and over here as well a little bit of uh, one of those notebooks that I make the petal notebook um, so it does open up with uh, some beautiful pages on here and in the middle a little bit of that fabric again. Anything um, that I could find um, in the purple theme uh, I did add to here and made some things that are particularly for lavender. And uh, here is uh, this beautiful image of lavender on some linen with some ribbon here. And inside here, there's some beautiful design paper in purple. And here is a little bit of stamping um, that I did and a little no, a little envelope that I made uh, with this um, beautiful stamp in lavender color. 
It looks like a, a vintage um, U.S. stamp. And then inside here, we do have some paper to write on that I stamped on. And I did get a little bit wiser about trying to get this little piece of paper out. I just left the flap right on here so that I can pull it out a little bit more easier. And over here, we have one uh, where I did some uh, sewing with uh, 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 purple thread and a little bit of uh, leaves. And then here, just a little bit of stamping and just for some little notes or a date or something that you might want to put in. Alrighty, so this will go back over here. And in the back here, and, I did um, a little bit of a, a poem about lavender. And then I added uh, just a little bit of the airmail uh, envelope on top here, just because while well, we have this beautiful blue that actually is. Um, uh, quite lovely uh, right with this image of lavender and um, here's a little bit just of um, this was on a, a sari scarf and uh, a little bit of embroidery up here and on the bottom as well I always have a little bit sticking out of any fabric or um, or the sewing tails as well from all the sewing in the journal over here is um, on the back of this, actually, I did sew on uh, this paper that I um, dyed with uh, cabbage leaves. And there is a little bit of a uh, tag here to write on. And another little piece of um, that I like to make just any tiny little um, notepad uh, piece of paper that you could write on. And over here, just an empty space. And then... In the back you have a notebook. This is a fabric that I um, sprayed with uh, purple ink and uh, turned out quite nice. And then underneath you have some papers and so on. Over here is a little bit of stamping and a little bit of that uh, rhinestone on the bottom. And inside is ledger paper. And um, just a little bit of uh, index card that uh, I, I did lines on it. I saw line, lines on top. I left this one empty just because there's so much everywhere else that it, it wasn't quite necessary to fill up every single page. Um, and then uh, here is uh, my own uh, stamping that I then made into uh, like a, a digital image and then um, we printed it on vellum paper and uh, it turned out quite nice and then um, a purple paper clip of course and a little bit of a tag with some buttons on it and over here i do like to use postage stamps i have a lot of vintage stamps so this one um, again is in uh, purple and quite nice um, on this page that I have of line paper in purple and then on the bottom here I do have in the middle of the first signature and every signature I have uh, a little bit of beads here and then um, I stamped um, lavanda which is um, um, possibly I guess first of all it is in Croatian but it might be in Latin for um, lavender and then some beads on top here as well and another stamp over here as well. Pretty little stamp. And then the vellum paper. And the ledger paper. And over here, uh, more stamping and uh, a little tag with uh, lavender on it. And backed with the um, purple paper. Over here is another little notebook with that sprayed fabric. And look at this beautiful. A sort of aqua color to use and on the back here we have a little journaling card with some lavender a lot of um, the images are real ephemera from my books and then uh, some are uh, printed from the graphics fairy like this one and um, this is this is authentic here from a book a lavender and it's many uses and then this one is um, a card. Over here, um, 
this is that design paper and then uh, a little tag with some of the purple uh, ribbon that I used uh, on the edges of some pages here and here's a little charm as well of a bird and a little bit of stamping over here and um, this one here um, might have been um, I'm not sure this one turned out a little bit more purplish, whether that's the cabbage leaves, possibly. And just a little notebook and images here from the uh, Christie Art Designs. Okay. And over here... Sorry. So over here is the other side of that image of from a book of lavender. And then over here is uh, what I sprayed again. I put some lines here to write on as well. And more spraying. I left um, one or two uh, in each signature empty pockets so that you can also fill in something. And uh, a little bit of the colors here. And over here is a, a cute little charm. And then uh, a little card. This is from a greeting card. Uh, just in these beautiful colors that would match here and then a little bit of a collage here of papers in the back here um, pocket as well but I, it was just so beautiful on its own that I didn't think it really needed anything and this one also some design paper and this is the next signature and um, this is in the middle and you can see that uh, striped purple paper and then here's another journaling card uh, this one has this coffee stain. I don't know, I picked up something in the back. I'm trying to read it. It looks like an M. I'm not sure. But it, uh, it I don't know, stuck to something and just gave this beautiful um, image in the back. And then this, um, just beautiful on its own, a little bit of stamping here. And this one is a flip up. You can write into this section. And it has a little bit of a flower um, that I made from stamping out. And then over here is um, the definition about uh, lavender. And then this is eco dye paper um, turnout, again, from I believe from cabbage, uh, quite nice. And another journaling card. And this one opens up as well for a little bit of extra space for writing. And over here, just a little bit of a purple flower and some roses in this beautiful. And over here we have um, just an image, um, I guess, on our everyday life. Um, but it does have this um, lilac or lavender uh, uh, tone, overtone on this photo. So I just included it just because it looks so nice. And then over here we have some ledger paper. I believe it was um, tea dyed, this one. Very nice shade and then here again is the uh, lavender stencil and um, over here um, I have a it's like a, a playing card um, that I did decoupage over it um, with lavender napkin and then this um, this uh, beautiful shade on the bottom I'm sorry underneath as well of this uh, blue paper eco dyed and in the back of it, I have a notebook. It does have this fabric. It, um, look at this, it just uh, folds out like this and it has this beautiful shade, um, almost exactly the color of lavender um, when it has uh, bloomed well and is starting to dry off. And then in the back of it, uh, we do have some papers here to write on. And on this here is uh, a page from a book about lavender. In the back um, we have a pocket. And in the pocket is um, just some uh, writing paper. Uh, a little bit uh, with cutouts. And just some uh, regular uh, paper that I inked on the bottom. And this is just a tiny little notebook. Just a little bit more extra journaling space. And over here is um, a little bit uh, more 
lavender or lavender fields uh, image from a book and then here I have another stamp uh, vintage stamp and then this is the uh, second signature middle and we have those beads here and that stencil that said lavanda um, also has an actual image of lavender that I inked up over here and a little bead and over here. Um, here's another pocket and I have um, just a little bit of a fold out with lavender and then another sheet of paper as well all in the different shades of pink and purple or blue tabs on top and more here about lavender and another notebook of that same type with this beautiful fabric that uh, folds out and then some papers to write on here over here i have um little it, it is a journaling card but it is also a poem that i used before in these old lavender trousers on this beautiful um pearl paint that i have and then on the back it is a um, beautiful space to write on more of that ecodite paper here and a ledger here a fold out and um, these beautiful uh, little crocheted um, little doilies that my mom makes um, I have a few I asked her if I could have some of the purple ones and she made me some purple ones for these journals and here's a beautiful um, over here it just flower. says la lavandula as well I know lavender has many different names I guess and a little bit more lavender here uh, this is a pocket that I left empty so you can put something in it this is a uh, flip up and it does have this uh, little flower that I made from um, cut out and um, here's a little pine cone on this uh, that one of those little I don't know lobster hooks or something and uh, a little bit more stamping and over here I have another little envelope uh, with um, one of the vintage uh, purple stamps and I just stamped up something here for an address and um, this one is this blue beautiful blue and then over here is uh, just a little paper that folds out a few times you know me I like a lot of fold outs uh, this one will just fit back in here I just love this blue it's just so pretty and, and we're coming to the third signature and this uh, beautiful pink flower here with the, um, this one I just like to look at this one a lot actually um, this um, belly band turned out so nice and uh, this is um, some vintage uh, fabric that I have and that I also stamped up a little bit with the purple and then put uh, one of these little notebooks in it. I just stamped up anything really that I had uh, as long as it's in purple I suppose and it is another one of these um, uh, petal notebooks with a different with the different uh, sizes of uh, pages I mean do they have to all be the same probably not right and in the middle um, a little bit more of stamping there we go and over here is a little bit more uh, from my um, digikit um, anyways just some stamping I did that I then um, scanned and um, now I've been using it it does uh, kind of fit in with a lot of these journals here is another envelope this one is even more purple than the other one uh, with this beautiful stamp on it and um, and just a little tag in this one with this very pretty uh, purple feathers it looks like and over here a little bit of a stamp and uh, a little bit more decoupage on just an index card and then this um, uh, flip out with these beautiful birds just in this beautiful uh, bluish uh, pinkish uh, tone 
that I don't know just just looks so beautiful and I wanted to add it in here even though it's not really lavender but the color is just very much of it and uh, definition of lavender here and um, another journaling card and a little bit here as well about uh, lavender anything about it and a little fact or something so on the top we have all these um, all these uh, fluff here in the various colors of pink and purple and so on just um, looks very beautiful on top and uh, sea lavender on this one it is a pocket in here as well and um, here's an image um, that I found at uh, uh, public domain made it into a journal card and just fix right in there and over here I just put a little bit of a, a snippet I made a little snippet with a different a uh, little bit uh, fabrics and textures that I had left over and just put it in here um, just for some tactile um, interest and uh, lavender here and here as well a bit um, collage with papers and then over here I have a couple of papers one is just writing paper and one is um, a butterfly on this uh, purple background in here as well a bit more purple so lots of purple to look at and use and here is um, I had that tagged earlier and here's the page from um, this uh, purple uh, feathers page um, looks quite lovely I'm not sure which uh, cardstock um, this was from but um, it's it's quite lovely and just a little bit of uh, fabric here of lavender as well and then right here is the rest of it I'll probably be using this one next time if I do make some more lavender journals and it's uh, it is a little notebook here and then I stamped up in the back as well um, that you can write on and then here is a little bit of a flip out with that spray paper and then another uh, vintage stamp and a little bit of uh, beads here more beads in the middle here and it says again uh, lavanda for lavender and another beautiful stamp in the same tones and uh, the other side of that flip out and here is this is from the cover itself and a little notebook and underneath. then here this is uh, a little bit about a plant profile about lavender and it just opens up and you can write on the back and read about more about lavender and this is the other side of the sea lavender I did leave this empty and look at this um, um, beautiful image it is from a book authentic um, ephemera here uh, as well uh, with these beautiful tones and um, here's and uh, just a little bit more about uh, lavender and its uses and then this is the other side of the birds and as well this one is a pocket and inside um, there's quite a bit of space you can add more things and you also have some writing here uh, spots and uh, a little bit of a journaling card as well that opens up so you can make lots of little notes in this one and adds uh, more into it as well I like these kind of secret pockets <laughs> and um, here a little bit more stamping and another journaling card with just purple flowers and ledger in the back and another little charm here and we're coming to the end almost um, purple butterfly here on my digikit and then this is the other side of that um, beautiful fabric and a belly band and um, this little button that actually has lavender on it and there's um, a little tiny notebook, uh, Lavender Dreams. It is it's a little junk journal within the junk journal. And it um, has uh, pages. Let me show you first the different pages. And then it, it, it does open up for more space here. And then in the front, uh, there's a little pocket uh, with a little tea. Perhaps you might have some lavender tea. And um, in the back as well. Um, lavender here and so these are little journaling spots on this beautiful painted purple paper yeah. it fits perfectly in here 
And then uh, we come to the end, um, this beautiful uh, page here, and I did sign it with the date that I completed it. And my card is in here as well. And look at this, Lavanda. It is uh, lavender tea, uh, so that whoever gets this journal, um, she can make a cup of lavender tea and write into her uh, lavender journal. So this is the back. And so we come to the end of um, another journal. And it was uh, quite interesting to make a lavender. I learned a few things about it as well. And I found this lavender tea actually in Croatia. And I did bring some. I bought a few boxes. I'll have to bring some more next time because I don't readily see it here. So anyways, so this is Lavender Dreams um, mini journal. Um, it is sold and um, I'll be packing it off. So thank you for coming by again and seeing what's new on my channel. And I do appreciate every time that, uh, you know, somebody subscribes and uh, takes a look at some of my videos. And um, I will be posting uh, some more videos actually that I have to work on and post them. And then I'll be working on more journals and kits and so on. So um, thank you for coming by again and uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.